Um, hey guys, welcome back, man. Four here. I'm going to be reacting to The Walking Dead season seven, episode thirteen. Bury me here. What was that about? Wake it up. Today. No, so he's teaching little kids now. You want to go back to sleep? No way. Said you wanted to be able to knock your brother on his butt when you first came to me. And really, what you want? Yeah. <laughs> no. You want to be like your brother? Yeah. I have a feeling he's gonna die and King Ezekiel is gonna be like, yup, let's go. Let's kill those saviors. Oh, she's smart. Basically cleared them all. And now she back, uh, and she's, is she gonna say, let's go kill the damn saviors? What's up here? Why is she back? Why did Jesus bring Daryl and everyone else to the kingdom? Mmm. Is everyone okay? Damn. She knew. Damn it. Daryl ain't here. You wanted me to keep the whole story about you from everybody. Damn. Let's go. More you found what you wanted, right? Did you now? You got away from everyone? Mm-hmm. And yet you coming back still, Carol. Is it what you wanted? Make up your mind. Was it just too late to get away? We have a drop today, but I can miss it. I'm trying to learn, and seeing what you did here, there were five of them. Cause she's badass Carol. I would just really appreciate At the moment. Let me see how you do what you do. <sighs> but that kid ain't gonna listen, then he's gonna die on the field. Can't see you gonna be pissed. She didn't kill that walker. So who did? Who's there creeping on the corner? Yo. Yo, Richard, don't, don't do nothing stupid. Dara's gonna kill your ass. You may approach, Navida. I'm fine where I am. <laughs> Nabila likes you. Nabila likes you. Nabila likes you. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> A big problem inside of a week. Most of the plants down there, they got weevils. You can cut it down. You can burn it and throw it all away. But if you want, it can all grow back. Okay. I think I just missed myself. Come on, come on. Oh. Oh. I think her little segment's gonna be like my favorite part of the episode, maybe. like this with the saviors. It's possible. But I'm sorry. I know you're a good man. Oh, he's better than you, Richard. You're shady. When that happens, don't beat yourself up about it. Yo. I don't know who I hate more. Stay down. Get your guns up. Somebody blocked the road. Can't be for anything good. Yo, if Richard did this... Jesus. Okay, so basically this is... Was Richard who set this all up, because he was the one who was digging a grave earlier. Yo, is he just imitating Morgan with the stick? Are you, are you kidding me? Just go 
My path. I don't want to hear about it. Don't interrupt the king. Oh. Yeah. This is going to be a bag. We did not agree to that. Well, you got a choice. As anyone has been there since the beginning, I guess, you can give up your guns, or you can try to use them. What's it going to be? Yo, the standoff. Give Morgan his stick back. <laughs> then you can have the guns. What? Guns were a stick? Ezekiel. <sighs> guns just now, because things are about to get emotional. You guys have proven that you don't do so good. Oh, emotion. no. You're short. You said 12, I count 11. There are 12 there. There aren't. Count again. You count them. Yeah, they rich do something. I have to learn the stakes here. So we're going to teach you. You don't have to do anything. We'll get you twice the tribute in an hour. Right now is the only time that matters. And right now, you haven't held up your side of the bargain. After we have talked about things over and over again and again. And that's why Richard buried, not dug up the grave. Who did he shot? We need to get Benjamin back to the kingdom. Get the man his damn stick. Get in the truck. Don't say a goddamn word. Looks like he didn't want that to happen, apparently. Oh, what? You, Richard thought he was. You, you're gonna die? That's why you buried it? Bury me? You didn't think it was gonna be the kid? You're gonna confess? Damn. And now she's going to feel guilty because he said, I can miss the supply run. Or not supply run, the drop. Yo, he died? Damn. Well, I kind of we kind of see that he was gonna die, causing it to happen, you know. But now she kind of feels iffy, like, damn, I should allow him to follow me. He couldn't have end up dying. Morgan, wait. Ooh, Morgan's the one to answer the call. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my God. oh no. He's gone back. Oh, no. And there he finds it. Hey, it's a cantaloupe. Now, whose fault is this? Hmm. That was a fight. I lost my wife. Sorry to hear that. And after three days of running, no food, and no sleep, with horror and terror, I lost my little girl. Damn. Right in front of me. Mm. So that is. This is the reason why he did everything. Something to make them believe us. And then, when we gained their trust back, we killed them. <laughs> End them. We joined with Alexandria and the hilltop, and we crushed them in one fell swoop. Hey, don't forget the um, junkyard district. Talk to Ezekiel. 
I'll tell everyone what I did. <laughs> and you think that he's gonna be like, oh yeah, we're gonna now march because of what you did? It was foolish. Uh. Oh, we didn't hear his yes and no. He just went back to his room. Did you? Oh no. Talk about it when we get back. Oh no. Talk about it now. We'll talk about it now. Thank you. What, what what's up? What's up? How's the kid? See, the savers aren't that at all bad. He didn't even, to make an example, he didn't want the kid to get shot. He wanted Richard dead. Or someone else. Thank you! Thank you! Mmm. This is some like freaking Smeagol. <laughs> Gollum. <laughs> Ooh. I think everyone kind of like is noticing why he did that though. Let's face it. <laughs> is it sinking in? It's sinking in. It's sinking in. Wanted to show you. Wanted to show you that we get it. Mm. That we understand what it is that we need to do. And we know how to go on. Yes, he did. The, all the signs were there. Come on, every time. And I'm guessing that was his daughter's book bag. Don't start nothing, Morgan. She was all cool and dandy. Megan killed Glenn and Abraham. Mm. I'm gonna be here now. We have to get ready. Ready for what? We have to fight. Okay, now she does want to join. Do you want to go and fight? Is that a yes from you too? Not today. Oh. So he's considering it, but not today. This is episode like 13, so. 9, 10, 11, 12. It took basically five episodes for this actual season to be an oh my god. This, is, this was an actually an entertaining episode from start to finish. Like, it basically began with just putting that one cantaloupe in. So I was like, why does one cantaloupe? Now we know why. It was basically just like, well, we were basically preparing us for that moment. And like, having freaking Richard take up that grave I'm like yeah it's it's obviously a setup but at one point I thought that he was gonna like stay behind and just shoot someone and like oh my god someone's shooting but then no he just basically took the cantaloupe made sure a scene would happen my question is this every time they take Richard with them something happens yet they continue to constantly take them they, had, they knew what happened last time and yet they keep taking Richard and what happens this time they took Richard, did something stupid, Benjamin died. And well, and that's what made Morgan like go back to being old Morgan, where he was just basically out of it, you know, and he still is out of it. He didn't just have his like quick moment and then he just snapped back into things. He killed Richard immediately. Then he said, Oh yeah. You know, they, they killed, he said his son's name, which I'm sorry, I forgot what it was. You can mention in the comments below so you can help jog with memory. Later on, I'm doing reviews and stuff, though, but 
he said his son's name and King he was like who like, I mean, Benjamin <laughs> yeah Benjamin died in the process you know but yeah even King Ezekiel was like yeah you need to come with us you're not supposed to be alone and like he was like nope I want to be alone and he just went to town on someone's walkers and he was like uh, Carol you told me you asked me what you want to know do you want to know before he was hesitant about it he didn't want to tell her you know and then she even went to freak in the kingdom she was straightforward she was like nah something's up here why Daryl's here why she found out about you know them visiting so it's like what what's the real thing here and she had basically a nightmare in the beginning of the episode so it was like something wasn't selling right and like I thought this was going to be a Carol episode because like, I heard some friends and then people saw the trailer, you know, her going to town with those home walkers with that, um, it wasn't a stop sign, I think it was like a one-way sign, you know, and I was like, oh, here we go, Carol episode, you know, it's probably going to be her, you know, saying, oh, that's it, something bad is going to happen, causing, I thought it would be like possibly dead of Morgan, but Morgan po has plot armor, you know, I would say, like, reasons why he has plot armor, but that kind of, like, so much spoiler details, but uh, yeah, he has plot armor, so he ain't gonna die anytime soon. Same with Freak Carol. Carol's never gonna die, let's be honest. She's not. She's probably gonna be die of old age, if anything, or just probably just smoke herself to death. But this episode was crazy, and it was just brought to the brink where it wasn't Carol. You know, <laughs> she found out what happened, and now she's like, Yeah, we gotta fight, and that's why she came back to the kingdom. But then King Ezekiel was like, Yeah, we do have to fight, but not today. And it brings us back to what Richard said. What he did, he didn't do anything. And that was his kind of like claim, his argument like, We can't just not do anything right now. We can't just simply just constantly work for the savers. We can't be patient. We can't just stop planning stuff like how Rick and them were did, trying to plan. And that's what I've been saying as well. If we even father. Gabriel's like, hey, we gotta be patient, gotta wait, and yet there's individuals like Richard who's like, come on, we gotta fight, we gotta fight now, and he kind of brings this up, like, if we don't do anything, you know, things are gonna escalate, and hey, if the kingdom would have been, like, up with Rick's offer, maybe pro help out with, you know, the gun situation and everything else, maybe we could have actually fought the saviors earlier and probably prevent the death of Benjamin, but who knows, eventually he was going who knows why um, the um, probability of him surviving that long, even if they said yes and whatnot. But I know Carol was like that death kind of weighed on her a little bit because he did say, uh, "I don't have to go to the drop. I can just you know follow you. You can like teach me your ways and whatnot." And she was like, "No." So I know it kind of weighed on her a little bit. But at one point, I thought that she was going to try to persuade. Um, Morgan not to go back that he can just stay here and like just chill out with her <laughs> you know but no apparently she went back and she was like yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna fight but I do see either Morgan either staying there or Morgan going back to Alexandria because right now he's on a killing spree now Rick knows a lot of Rick and Michelle knows about freaking out going out of it you know in times of stress and death so if they see signs of it, especially Rick since he saw it up and personal, yeah, he's gonna they're gonna try to like calm Morgan down. If not, let him like rattle up, you know, his hornet's nest rage and uh, go out on the sabers and then try to like sway him back to the humanity side. But wow, like he he just basically left his philosophy and it's strange. I saw Benjamin, you know, quoted from that book there, you know, before he died, trying to like say like yo don't do anything, but if he didn't do that, and this would probably be in my mind, my interpretation of that scene, before he died, but, yeah, Morgan didn't take that, even, like, King Ezekiel was like, come on, Benjamin would not want it this way, <laughs> and he was like, no, I had it, like, it was basically repeating itself, and just hearing what Richard said, like, yo, we can just do something now, or something bad will happen, and, hmm, did, and he's like, hey, you're gonna regret not doing it, and, <laughs> He regrets it now. So, 
Let's see how the next episode's gonna be. I hope they didn't just give us a thunderous thing, and then it's gonna just decline down. I'm not. I didn't see the preview. I don't plan on seeing the preview. I just hope when episode 16 comes, an actual fight's gonna happen. Many people say a fight's gonna happen. I'm one of those people who's gonna be like, they're about to go and collide hand in hand, and then cutscene black. Next season, eight, the fight. But. Who knows what's going to happen this season. So yeah, like or dislike the video. Come on with you saw the episode. And if you're new, please subscribe. And it just dawned on me. Like, yeah, I kind of was like hoping that um, Richard was going to die. <laughs> I kind of wanted it. And it kind of happened. So, fingers crossed for Rosita. But hey, I'm Broke by 94 and I am signing off.